prove yourself. In order to do that, we need to learn how to do proof by contradiction, isn't it? Prove that log base two of three is an irrational number, meaning we cannot write it as a fraction where the numerator and denominator are integers. Okay, if it's a proof by contradiction, we first need to negate the statement. We're going to make an assumption. Let's assume log base 2 of 3 is rational. Now, you really have to define what you mean by a rational number. Yeah? We're going to let log base 2 of 3 equal p divided by q. Okay, but we can't just say p and q. Like I said before, you need to explain or really uh, make it clear that p and q are integers. So we're going to say where p is an integer and q is an integer. Okay. Now what else has to be true? The denominator cannot be zero. Q cannot equal zero. Is there anything else we need to say? Yes. We need to explain that this fraction has to be in its simplest form. Okay, meaning, yeah, two quarters is a uh, rational number. But you wouldn't say two quarters. You would say that's a half. Okay, so we're talking about the unique fraction. Okay, not its equivalent fractions. The most simplified version. Okay, we're not talking about 36 over 72. That is just a half. All right. Now, what's the posh way? of saying that this is in its simplest form. You wouldn't say it's in its simplest form. You could say the, the greatest common divisor of both number, numbers is one, but an even nicer way of saying that is that, so greatest common divisor means highest common factor, the biggest number that goes into P and Q is one. Remember when we had one half, the biggest number that goes into both one and two is just one, yeah? If I had three quarters, the biggest number that goes into both three and four is one. So, in university level maths, we might say the GCD uh, is one, but I like to say where P and Q, where P and what? That's a proportionality symbol. P and Q are, this is a beautiful word, mate, co-prime. Okay, co-prime. I recommend you just use that word, isn't it? If, you, if this is the first time you're seeing that word, hit the like button, innit? If, you, if you've seen it before, hit the like button, innit? So, we have log base 2 of 3 is P over Q. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that log base 2. What's the opposite or inverse function of log base 2? It's 2 to the power of. Okay, log base 2 and 2 to the power of cancel. We are left with 3 equals 2 to the power of this. Okay, I'm going to write that bit first. 2 to the power of p over q is 3. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the fractional power. We're going to get rid of that q. How do I do that? I'm going to use my index rules. I'm going to raise both sides to power q. That cancels. We're left with 2 to the power of p is 3 to the power of q. Now, think about it. How is it possible that 2 to the power of p equals 3 to the power of q? Well, if we think about the graphs, here might be y equals 2 to the power of x, here might be y equals 3 to the power of x. They're only the same here, 1, when x is 0. Okay, so this is only true when one of these, well, both of those values are zero. Can that be possible? No, because I said Q cannot be zero. This forms a contradiction. There's actually a few things we can say here. The powers of two are even, yeah, for P being a positive number. Kind of have to be careful with that as well, just because um, P can be negative. So like, is half an even number? The answer is no, right? So we can say that, you know, but I think a better argument is to say that these are only true when both P and Q are equal to zero, okay? So, 
Yep, we can say this is only true when both P and Q are equal to zero. Okay, this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction because we assumed that Q cannot equal zero by definition. Therefore, yeah, this whole thing, well, we just said it's a contradiction, right? Therefore, this whole thing breaks down. Log base two of three cannot be a rational number. Therefore, log base two of three cannot be rational. Log base two of three is irrational. Can you roll your tongues like that? Irrational. Calm. That is it, guys. This is this proof by contradiction. Probably about five, six marks in the exam. There's just a lot of yapping going on. Guys, if you learned something today, hit the like button. Subscribe for more maths content like this. If you're interested in my full maths courses, there's a link in the description. And head over to my Lungang Reddit, where there's already students posting questions, having discussions. I will do some questions uh, on my YouTube coming from there. And I'll try my best to answer your queries there as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Nice. <laughs>